Cage Minds, Micah Frankel, at Duke City MMA slash Sandoval Fight Systems, which is inside the Rough Rider Barbell Club, here to talk to Freddie Sandoval. A full camp this time, full notice, Freedom Fight Night, going over to Arizona, going to be an action how does it feel? How's camp? How's everything doing, sir? Uh, it feels really, really, really good um, to finally have a fucking fair chance, uh, head notice. But, of course, things never go as planned. Uh, I got to switch up in opponents. Completely different game plan. But uh, at the end of the day, I don't really specifically train for people. Um, I train to fight at this point in my career. So uh, training has been going good. Conditioning is going good. So, really excited. I'll peak right at the right time. I know that we started off. First opponent was going to be a Brazilian jiu-jitsu specialist. Where did we go with the change? Uh, so, he pulled out uh, about a week and a half ago. So, now we have uh, more of a well-rounded guy, I guess you could say. Uh, Eric McConico, McConico, McConico Jr. Uh, he's out of Portland, top team. So, we'll see. Like I said, it doesn't matter who it is. The same, got the same plan at the end of the day to go in there, dominate, and show what happens when I have a full camp and I have preparation. Eric's a couple of years removed since his last cage fight. Seems like there's some parallels. Both of you guys have been active more on the competitive grappling scene. Seems like both gearing up for this comeback. So could you see some parallel looking at a guy that's kind of doing the same thing you're doing? Yeah, I actually noticed that when I looked at him uh, once they sent the name over. Uh, I said yes before I even looked him up or anything because uh, I was not going to throw away a whole camp for nothing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's weird. I see he's coming off two losses, um, and then he's been competing in Chell Sonnen's uh, submission underground. Um, so, yeah, it, it goes hand in hand. I've been competing in jiu-jitsu for a little while, and, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's cool. You know, we're both coming off some losses. Um, so I guess it's kind of like who wants this more. I don't – my loss – kind of sucks you know it was short notice um and, and it'll be shown this time had i had proper notice for bellator I, I would have pulled that off so it's cool though it is what it is so what is it like now a full-blown camp weeks behind the preparation getting the time to go to all these different classes to do the conditioning and to get the weight down gradually how is all this process feeling again uh, it's 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 a crazy feeling for sure um, but it's a good feeling at times. There's times where it sucks. Like I hate coming in for conditioning. Uh, I hate coming in to spar. But then there's days that I'm like, I can't wait to get in there. You know, I just, you have your days, ups and downs, like everything else normal in life. Uh, but camp's been going good, like I said. Training's going good. Uh, everything's just been, it's just been good and I feel excited. Uh, it kind of feels a little bit the same as last time, you know, when I used to do this shit back in the days. But there's also a lot of changes and a lot of differences now um, than back then. So, uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. Speaking of changes, it was a much smaller team, a, a close-knit group. We were back at the other building for your last fight, mm -hmm. short notice. So there's a lot of changes. New building, all new facility, new team. I'm guessing you're going to have some new guys possibly even in your corner. Yeah. First camp under Frank Gomez having his knowledge added. What has this been like, this whole new environment where you went from being your own head coach to now you're a student again? Uh, it's, been a, it's been a big relief. Um, I'm not running my strength and conditioning. I'm not running my camp. I'm not running shit except for just – I'm not even running my diet, actually. I got everything covered. I just have to show up and do the work. It's been really great. Uh, a lot of pressure, a lot of stress off my shoulders. Uh, me and Frank used to compete at the same time back in the days. So it's cool having a coach that's been in there. He's been through the wars and he comes from my era, you know, where these guys nowadays, they do everything differently. Um, so it's, it's been really nice. It's been really, really fucking nice, dude. I'm excited about it. Um, like I said, I got my strength and conditioning covered by somebody else. Frank's running my, uh, my MMA camp. I got Terrace doing my striking and, uh... Il Chino Mills, Ricky, doing my uh, my nutrition, man, to keep my weight where it needs to be. 
not just the lack of responsibilities on your shoulder, but I'm guessing also the added eyes, just having a fret set of eyes to analyze what you're doing because you're never going to see your holes and the people that you're working with daily get accustomed to seeing things. So I'm guessing that had to be also some eye-opening moments through the process. Yeah, uh, it's definitely good to have the extra eyes, having Jalen in here helping out too. Um, you know, he's uh, been competing since I was out, but he's he's got a real, uh, a real vast knowledge of the game. Uh, he's very smart. His fight IQ is pretty high, so he's picking up a lot of things that I would have never fucking seen, never guessed. Um, Frank's seeing a lot of things. Terrace has seen a lot of things. So uh, it's been, it's just been a relief. It's been a relief. You had 10 days, I believe, or something like that, for Romero Cotton. So I'm guessing that going to bed at night, there's a different level of comfort and confidence in what you're doing. Yeah, the biggest thing was uh, buying into myself this time around uh you know i had the confidence for cotton but i still played in the back of my head like I, I just it was just too short notice it was just too short notice so i didn't give myself the full confidence going into that fight which maybe i could have maybe it would have changed the outcome uh, if i would have bought into myself a little more i mean that doesn't change your conditioning at the end of the day for somebody that's that high level athlete um but uh but you know when you buy into yourself just like we buy in and we bet on, on our favorite sports teams, right? Our favorite athletes. You know, we'll go to the casino and we'll bet money on a good poker hand. I got to do the same thing for myself. I've got to fucking bet on myself. I've got to believe on myself. And now with the new training partners, with the new coaching staff, with the nutrition, with me not having to worry about that. Yeah, I go to bed and I smile every night because I know I've busted my ass every single day. And each day I'm getting better than I was yesterday, better than I was 10 years ago, better than I was 15 years ago when I was like really 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 good you know or I thought I was really good at least um so yeah big big change um the confidence is up there right now and uh you know I posted when they posted the poster that I'm going for the bonus because that's how confident in myself that I'm going to get one of them bonuses uh come November 4th how happy are you just with the opportunity because I know that was a big thing for you it wasn't just about the win it's about Getting the opportunity to have a full camp and truly go out there and show what you can do. It's big. It's it's big. And that's a reason that is uh, giving me my confidence up to put money on myself and to bet on myself because I know what I'm capable of. I know how fucking hard I work. I know how hard my guys work me, you know. Uh, and I know, like I said, I just know what I can do. When I pull that trigger and I'm go time and I'm prepared and I'm ready for it, it's just, it's going to be a wrap. I've had the years uh, that I was off to study the fight game, you know, to learn things, to grow my IQ, which has helped me be a successful coach. Uh, you know, not just coming in from one standpoint with just ground and pound, you know, or whatever it was. It's expanded, watching the different fighters, watching the fight game evolve. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. Fuck excited. How do you describe the goal or at least what would make Freddie, satisfy. What kind of performance? What do you got to do on November 4th to have yourself happy? Uh, to go in there, push the pace, show my cardio out. I've never been a cardio person, but my cardio's there for sure. Uh, my strength, my conditioning has been, been pretty well. Um, but just to go get in this guy's face and really push the pace uh, and just get in there and just scrap, man. Get in there, fight off whatever he's got. Let him know that, uh, you know, he should have picked a, a, a better fight for himself than this one. And you already know, this was a special interview brought to you by Il Chino Mill Prep. Yeah, that's definitely the man right there. Big shout out to Ricky and Il Chino Mills. I would not stay, you know, look healthy, in shape the way that I do if it was not for this man and his mills. Uh, I owe everything to that dude, man. He's my boy, uh, business partner, best friend, brother, you name it. we become real close over the years. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't be where I'm at uh, without him and the mills, definitely for sure. Uh, and his fucking support. You know, it's not just about the mills. It's about the support that that man has given me and the belief and the trust that he has in me. So... It's fucking awesome. Same with you. Same with everybody on my team, man.